Hi, I'm Okara Imani. Stay tuned for my small studio session next. Akara Amani Small Studio. I like to open with this piece anytime I am in a space with people who have come to hear me sing. It's a nice way to set the tone and get everyone's vibrations synced up. So I will do the same here today. I'll do it for you, for me, for us. I will, I must, tell the stories, sing the songs, echo the great clamor in a soul, your soul, my soul. Our souls are bound amidst the peaks and valleys, betwixt the waves of sound, I am called to you to us, to self, where there is trust between you and I are floating through the air. The space doesn't hear the call of passing shooting stars to see them and yet to know that nary one of them can feel the echo, the beating of my heart as it passes through the dark. I come in peace. I come in Peace floating through the air, the space doesn't hear the call of passing, shooting stars to see them, and yet to know that every one of them can feel the echo, 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 the beating of my heart as it passes through the dark. I come in peace. I come in peace. Oh, I am you are. I am you are. I am you are. I am you are me. You are you are. You are you are. You are me. I am you and we are one. We are we are. We are, we are, we are, we are, one and we are floating. Noticed. Not, not noticed. 
many times must you go? Look them in the eyes and know that it's the last time you'll do so. How many ways can you see the ending through?
just to be. Every time I do any of these things in front of the people that are most important, which is the listeners, I'm nervous, but I am used to it. Um, be it from audition culture, um, from the way I was trained musically, I'm always doing auditions for things. So that's just stand up and do it. Um, to open mic culture, which is if you don't have the things, just stand up and do it. Uh, so I'm, I am fairly used to that sort of bare feeling uh I think I've heard it works for me it's comfortable so (laughs) when I was in high school I knew I wanted to go to college um choosing a music degree was not I wasn't sure um but ultimately I decided I wanted the building blocks if I was going to go and I wanted the college experience um I was going to do something in my field so that I had building blocks to take wherever I wanted to go because I know plenty of us don't study classically or don't even read music sometimes and just are super prolific. Uh, But I knew that if I wanted to go, I might as well do my thing and get all those building blocks, all those tools. The goal was to be able to sing anything. (laughs) Like when I went in, I was like, I want to be able to sing anything. I want the tools for that. Um, Help me build a fuller performer (laughs) um so the instruments um kind of stopped at the proficiency tests but I did take the vocal building blocks the breathing the performance the presence um the studying of music and learning of music and uh, kind of the adopt adapting um I got all of that from studying classically and just pure exposure (laughs) to tons of things that I wanted to hear. I wanted to hear new instruments. I wanted to learn social context of different cultures' music and just really an anthropological uh, viewpoint. I get that from my classical training as well. So definitely worth, definitely worth everything. (laughs) Everything. (laughs) When am I going to make an album? Um, It is a huge item on my agenda. Um, Actually, for 2020, that is my thing. Um, I really enjoy the idea of a live band sound in studio. So it's difficult. It's real hard to make a band. (laughs) So 2020 is all I can say right now. I don't know where I'm going. Um, I would say if you were going to be a longtime listener, I want you not to know exactly where I'm going to go. And I want you to have to go back further into discography to know where I came from. Um, And I want there to be something of mine that you can listen to for any of your needs throughout the day, throughout the week. I want to be there with you. (laughs) 